so I think a lot, no, pretty much every team's interested. You know, it's, it's it's one of those situations where you have to respect the process and understand that um, you know it only takes one team, but there, there may be a lot of teams that like you. So I'm excited about the opportunity, whatever team that's going to be. Yeah, you know, it's going to be a blessing in my life, and I think it's going to be a great thing for that team as well. How do the nerves of something like this compare to like the Rose Bowl or something like that? Well, I don't get nervous. You know, uh, you don't get nervous when you're prepared. And that's the way I've always been, you know, I make sure I prepare in the right way so I feel you know, completely comfortable and completely confident in what I'm doing. And so, you know, every opportunity to get out on the football field, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be nervous. You know, this is what the Lord put me on this earth for. And, you know, one of the things he put me on this earth for is to, to humbly play through him. And it's a great opportunity. I'm excited about the future. So to add your comfort level with your teammates too? Yeah, it's always fun, you know, throwing guys like Nick Toon and Dick Byrne and Brady Ewing and other guys who came here to catch for me as well. Um, I think that helps, but, you know, you just try to, you know, do, you know, play the way you're supposed to play, and that's playing with timing and rhythm and in terms of your footwork and deliver a great ball every time. Yeah, I, you know, I think it was uh, 60 for 63, which is pretty good on the day, you know, obviously. You know, I think it's uh, that's just the way I am. How's the work in you well, Chris Winkie was my quarterback coach. He played in the NFL for a long time. And uh, so what we did was we went through every single possible route that I could throw in the NFL, all the play action routes, all the you know, five-step, three-step, seven-step throws that I could possibly make. So uh, we made 63 throws. That covers about everything you can throw in the NFL. So you know, I just try to show all the teams that I can make every single throw. Do you think your accuracy uh, and your ability to throw on the run at the factors? Yeah, I think that's something that's going to be huge in the NFL. Obviously, you, you always want to be accurate with football. You want to deliver the ball on time, you know, and uh, you know, put it in a place where you know only your guy can get it. But also the fact that you know, I can extend plays and, and uh, you know make things happen in terms of down the field and still keep my eyes downfield and, and, and be efficient that way. I think will really help me in the NFL. How much is your one year at Wisconsin the fact you were able to learn to play with so quickly? Well, playing a West Coast style of offense at NC State and then having to transfer here, going to Wisconsin, an unbelievable school with an unbelievable offense coordinator, you know, Paul Chris, who's now at Pittsburgh, you know, that really helped me. I think, you know, playing, you know, 75 percent of the time at NC State, I was in the shotgun, and you know, here at Wisconsin, I was, in, I was under center 90 percent of the time. And so being able to play behind that huge offense line, averaging six foot five, and I think it's the fourth biggest offense line in the NFL if you compare them. And, uh, you know, that's really helped me, and just knowing that, that I can learn the playbook in you know, such a quick, short period of time, you know, I gave myself three weeks to learn the whole playbook, and that's a huge asset to a team that, you know, wants to draft me, and wherever team I get drafted to, I'm going to get there right away and just dive in that playbook and just continue to learn as much as I can, and that way I'm always ready. Was the response positive from people in the talked about learning the playbook somewhere? Yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the key things that I really like about me is the fact that you know, I can learn so quickly. You know, I think the, the fact that I've graduated in three years is something that's uh, really important to different teams. And the fact that, you know, uh, you know, I came here and just, you know, uh, was able to gravitate to the guys so quickly and then gravitate towards me is really important. Russ, are you surprised that so many people made a big deal about your height? No, I mean, I've been this way my whole life, you know, so, you know, my height's not a factor. You know, I have played like this way my whole life. You know, I think I only got three balls batted down all season. Uh, the key is, you know, finding lanes and delivering the ball on time. You know, there's, there's not that much of a difference if I was 6'1 or, or 5'11, really, to be honest with you. Behind, you know, playing behind the offensive line, you play behind and the defensive players in the NFL. You know, you don't really see over guys. You throw through lanes, and deliver an accurate ball, throw the ball with a little arc and pace, and, and just uh, make plays. Do you, do you have any trouble convincing any of the guys? Do you think you eliminated all their doubt or no? You know, I think the way you convince them is, you know, putting it on film. You know, I think that's what they've seen is the fact that, uh, you know, I don't get, you know, balls batted down. The fact that I deliver an accurate ball is, is the way to show them. You know, I, I can talk all I want, but they, when they put on the film, I think that's what they have to see, and I think I've shown them. Can you measure 5'11"? Yeah, measuring at 5'11". Picked up half? 206. <laughs> yeah, so it's good to go. How much have you thought about your dad during this process, just, you know, going through everything, getting one step closer? I think about my dad every day. You know, like he always told me, like I've told you guys before, he's king in every crowd. You know, and my faith, he's, you know, the Lord's always watching me with me and my dad. He was right here with a huge smile on his face, you know, right on the 20 yard line. I know I said 50 yard line, but he was right on the 20 yard line smiling down on me. And, you know, all the things that he's taught me, you know, has really prepared me for this whole situation. And like I said, you know, earlier, you know, this is, this is the moment, I, you know, I've been training for my whole entire life ever since I was about two years old. And it's, you know, it doesn't get any better than that. What are your plans for drafting? 
uh, I'd probably just be home with my family and and uh, you know my new wife would be home with her and, and the rest of my family just you know close friends. So I'm excited you know to be around different people and just be close with them and, and uh, share some you know a great moment with them. Who do you think's most ready to fill your shoes in your shoe? Say that again. Who's most ready to fill your shoes at quarterback? You know it all depends on how they prepare, man. Like I always say, uh, the separation is in the preparation. So whoever prepares the best way, whoever. You know, sets their mind on being the best here. You know, University of Wisconsin will have the opportunity, I believe. And, and uh, you know, I know that whoever takes the job will, will do a great job. They'll win a lot of football games. Seems like your projected round is all over the board. What do you hear, and do you think you can surprise some people? Yeah, I think, I think I think the way I threw today, I think that will really help me. You know, and the way I ran at the combine and threw at the combine as well. And the more the teams continue to watch the film and everything, I think it will really help me. You know, I'm not worried about what round it is, whether if it's the first, second, third, or, or if it's the last round. Whatever it is, you know, I know it's going to be a good situation. You know, I know the Lord's going to put me in the right spot at the right time, just like he always does. He always will. And so I'm excited, whatever team it is. Can you talk about your relationship with Nick? I mean, it's, it's been less than a year, but it seems like you guys are pretty tight. Yeah, Nick and I, Nick Toon and I are really, really close. You know, I'm standing at his house. He's you know, one of my best friends here for sure. You know, he's a great kid, a great family, obviously. Uh, he works extremely hard, so you know he, he motivates me. I motivate him. You know, just try to be the best every opportunity we get. So and he's a great player. What about football wise? Yeah, I mean, how do you do today, and, and how would you vouch for him for what he's done over the course of his career? Well, I think the fact that the style of offense that he's played, in, he's got a great knowledge of the game. Uh, obviously, has a great pedigree. He ran well today. Uh, if he can do it, all he's a complete receiver. You know, he's great in third, third down, great in the red zone. And that's where you got to be in the NFL. And, uh, and, I think he's definitely ready to, to shine, and once he gets the opportunity, he'll do a great job in the NFL for a long time. He said people don't realize he's that fast. Did you know he was that fast? Oh, yeah, I, I didn't say that people didn't realize he was that fast. No, he I, said that. Oh, okay, he, yeah, he, he can run. He can run you know, pretty well, and he did a great job today, right? so that's huge for him. Did you give Coach Bielema any tips for this weekend? Uh, <laughs> you know, I think he's shaking a little bit, so. But no, I'm just kidding. He's he's ready to go for that, Coach Bielema. And I just told him that, you know, uh, just enjoy the moment. It doesn't get any better. Family and friends being around you, you know, for your weather. Will you do individual workouts for the draft with teams? Yeah, I'm doing individual workouts with teams, and uh, I'm staying here for another two weeks or so, and just, uh, working out for teams, and then I'll go down to the Gruden show. That'd be a lot of fun doing that. You know, Coach Gruden's obviously a great coach, and, uh, Super Bowl winning coach, and everything. So it'd be great to be around him. And then after that, I'll, I'll probably go down, back down to IMG and get ready. You know, continue to work with Chris Winky, just continue to work on my craft. Russell, a lot of people focus on physical attributes, but everybody says that you had one of the most impressive interviews at the combine. How much does that factor in? Well, you know, having impressive interviews and everything, I think all that kind of goes with your personality, but also your knowledge of the game. And playing at NC State, playing the West Coast style of offense, then coming to Wisconsin and learning the playbook so quickly in such a short period of time. And guys gravitating towards me, them voting me as, as a captain, which I wasn't expecting at all. You know, I think that really shows my leadership and, and my love of the game, love of the game of football and, and what I do and just trying to excel and just trying to be the best every day. And I think that, you know, when teams, you know, see me and talk to me, they really understand that. And the way that I approach every single day is every day's got to be great. You know, I can't have an average day. I can't have a good day. It's got to be great. You know, and that's the way I look at it. What could Chris you do Winky? today that you couldn't show at the combine? Uh, well, the combine's a little bit different because you're only throwing about five different types of routes. Um, so here I, I threw everything, you know, everything that I could possibly throw, you know, in the NFL. You know, I worked with Chris Winkie, and you know, he's been training me. He played in the NFL for a long period of time, so he has a great knowledge of the game. So we went through every single throw. I think we threw 63 balls today. I think it was like 60 for 63 maybe or something like that. And so, you know, we're just trying to show everything you know, I could possibly do. And I think I had a very, very efficient day today. Winkie's the one who played baseball too, right? Yeah, Winkie played baseball, but um, he ended up giving it up and decided to focus on football. Won a Heisman Trophy you know, at Fort State, and, and uh, he played in the NFL for a long period of time. Do so you feel kind of a connection to him between, I mean, your background and baseball? You know, to be honest with you, we don't talk about baseball at all. You know, we're so focused on what I'm doing, focused on playing football, and uh, and I think he definitely understands that, respects that. I think that we, you know, I also know that you know he understands that. You know, I don't want to talk about baseball. You know, it's, it's, I'm trying to focus on what I can do in terms of improving. You know, and just trying to be the best quarterback that I can be. Once were, he helped you with this. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I, I have a really high quick release, so we haven't really changed anything in terms of my release or anything like that. What we've really been working on is uh, my footwork and just trying to have a great base and just uh, something that Drew Brees does unbelievably well. You know, it's a guy that I admire, a guy that I watch a lot for 
on his ability and what he does inside the pocket. And so that's what we've been really been working on. Uh, it's been a good experience. When people talk about your size, do you want to prove? Uh, do you want to break the so-called stereotype or whatever of small quarterbacks? Yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the reasons why you know, God put me on this earth too, is to show people that you know anything's possible. I know that you know my height's not a factor. You know, I put it on film, and I don't get many balls batted down at all. You know, I think got only three balls batted down this season, and, and the fact that you know you have to make plays on third down, be efficient in the red zone, and, and I think that's what's really important. There's no party that wants to scream, I am the height that I am. Just watch well, you know, I, you know, the Lord made me this way for a reason. You know, and like I, like I just said, you know, I think that he made me that, that height for that reason. It's to prove to people that, you know, it's it's not a factor at all. Have you been able to reach out to Drew Brazier? Has he contacted you? Have you been able to talk to him at all? No, I haven't I haven't talked to him. I'm sure I will at some point. But, you know, I've read his book several times, so I feel like I know him. He, he may not know me at all. Yeah. <laughs> looking forward to that day when hopefully you get a chance to meet yeah, him. Yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Twitter. That's what you do at. Yeah, I got a, I got a new Twitter, Danger Russ Wilson. Um, so I'm excited about that. I uh, started that up, and uh, it's, that's been a fun little experience. Get to know my, fan, you know, the fans a little bit, and uh, just share, you know, what's going on in my life. Hey, Russell, I did have one baseball question for you. There was a story that came out in the New York Times, I believe, right after the Rose Bowl, and it seemed like it was obvious, but it, it made it out like there was still a choice that had to be made between football and baseball. It, no, I, I, I didn't know I, how that I came across. I called the GM and told him that I was just focusing on football for the rest of my life. So, okay. You know, there's no more baseball. You know, this is what I'm doing. I love, I love to play the game. There's nothing better than getting ready for a, a, a huge, huge football game. You know, so this is, you know, I'm excited about you know my future in the NFL for a long period of time. You know, hopefully, I play 15, you know, 15 years in the NFL and win a, you know, and win a Super Bowl. So that's that's my goal. What was the point when that decision was made? Was that made the day that you came here? And basically, or? when I left, you know, the, um, when I left baseball. My whole, my whole goal is I gotta have my, the best year I could possibly have. I gotta shine. I gotta, I gotta improve every day and just, and, uh, and just be great. And so, and, and so that way I can play in the NFL. And so that's that's where I've, that's where my mindset's been ever since I left baseball. And I love the fact that you know the Lord's put me here. You know, it's playing at University of Wisconsin has been a great situation for me. A great offense, great offensive scheme. And you know, I'm looking forward to the future. So how many uh, agents did you interview and how did you come up with Say Boss? Again? How many agents did you interview yourself before picking one and how did you wind up with Boss? Well, I didn't, I didn't talk to any agents during the year. I didn't want to focus on any of that stuff. And, um, you know, a lot of people were calling me and stuff, but I would just ignore it basically. Um, and then, you know, I wanted a guy that was, uh, you know, had you know several quarterbacks in the past and also uh, a person that was, you know, personal, you know, a guy that you can call on the phone if you need to. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to have a huge, huge agency or anything like that, you know, and so um, Busset called me at one point, and, uh, you know, glad I went with him. He's a great guy. He's got Jay Cutler right now. He's at Calvin Johnson, right? so it's good. Did he try to get Favre to recruit you at all? Or? No, I, I never, I've never talked to Favre. Uh, he tweeted me the other day, but I've never, oh. I've never talked to him before. Um, you know, obviously I've watched him play a lot, <laughs> you know, he's Brett Favre, but. Um, You're hoping to meet him yeah. sometime? Yeah, and hopefully I'll meet him at some point. I don't know when I, when I would, but. We'll see.